we're talking with Sam. Sam, you're with All Worth Money Matters. Oh, hi, Scott and Pat. Thanks for taking my call. Yeah. yeah. So I'm trying to figure out, I just retired this year on April. And I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to be okay remaining retired. Did, okay. Did, did, uh, was this, re- did the retirement date come earlier than you'd planned? Or was this like suddenly the company yeah. made it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's way early. I'm only, I'm, I just hit 60 yesterday. Okay. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, the, I sold my business uh, with a building, which I carried a note. And that would net me about 4047 a month. And I also have a rental that's going, that I'm renting for 3200 And my wife is bringing home about $4,000 net. So we will clear about 11200 a month. But my combined expenses, because of uh, the two mortgages I'm still having, and utility and insurance and everything will come out to about eighty one hundred dollars. Okay, so, so can we uh, one second here, Sam? You sold this building. You uh-huh. sold this. Did building. you get a cash? No, I'm that, carrying the note. For how I'm long? Carrying, uh, uh, it's a it's a twenty year term with a balloon payment. At uh, but the, the they have a payoff. Uh, I mean. Early payoff is five years, so any time after that, he could pay off uh, the whole amount. And what is the what is the amount? About six hundred thousand dollars. And your business was in the building, so did you sell the building and the business together? Correct. Okay. Okay, and you received no cash up front. Uh, ninety thousand. Okay, and then uh, so the the mortgages are on the rental in your primary residence, correct? Right. Okay. And what is the va- what is the value of the rental? The value of the rental is about eight hundred. And what do you owe on it? Uh, one ninety. And what's the interest rate? One point eight seven five. Okay. And the primary, what's the value? Uh, about one point one. And what do you owe on it? One fifty. And I assume the interest rate is probably about one point eight as well. One point nine, yes. Okay, all right. And what other and fifteen asset? year loans? Was the rental a primary residence at one time? It was. That's how you got the low rate then. Right. How long ago was it a primary residence? Thirty years ago. Okay. But I refinance. Uh, so, well, so I have a primary residence for thirty years, and I built a home. Which I subdivide from my property, uh, so I built another home, and I moved back here like five years ago. Okay. And what do you have? And in... I ne- <clears throat> sorry. I never did rent it out. I'm sorry. The rental, I never did rent it out, so it was always a primary residence for both address. Because one's in, one is in the front, one is in the back. Mm-hmm. But it's on two separate lots. Got it. Got it. Got it. Now you're renting it out. Yes, now um, I'm renting it out. And what is the uh, what other assets do you have? And and so the, let me just I real have, quick: is the thirty two hundred dollars from rent is that after the mortgage and expenses on the house? No, but you but you netted it out uh, the expenses as part of the eighty one hundred dollars a month yeah. that you're correct. Right, right. The eighty one hundred dollar is including the two mortgages. Okay, okay. So what other assets do you have, Sam? So I have about two hundred and ten thousand dollar cash. I have a hundred thousand of it sitting on in a high yield account, and a hundred of it well, is at a betterment with a ninety percent, ninety percent equity uh, in stock market and ten percent in bond. Okay. Anything else? I have a retirement account which uh, is about worth about three hundred eighty-five thousand, three hundred eighty-two thousand. Okay. With two hundred and twenty of it is in IRA, and uh, one fifty or one sixty of it is in Roth. Okay. Anything else? No, that's it. And how 
uh, how much longer does your wife plan on working? That's that's my next question. Uh, if 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 it's doable, the problem is well, her her work cover my life on my health insurance. So we were worried if it's doable, she would like to retire at sixty two. How old is she now? Sixty. And how much does she make? A net about four thousand dollars. Okay. Her gross is about her gross is about eighty. Uh, I think seventy nine eighty a month. I I mean yeah seven se- uh a year seventy seventy nine or eighty in a year. So let's but, let's let's ask this question. Um, and I'm not implying that you have enough or don't have enough. If if okay. you were to go back to work, what would you do, and how much would you make? If I were to go back to work, yes, because you said you don't know you don't know if you have enough money to retire, so. I took the null hypothesis and said, okay, let's assume you don't have enough money to retire. What would you do? If you had to go back, you sold it. You've been self-employed for many, many years, I assume. 42 years. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I don't the, think he's going to be working for anybody. Yeah, my guess. The, the, the idea of you going <laughs> don't in. Don't forget to punch the clock on the way out. <laughs> right. The, the, the idea of you going in and actually getting the job is probably not very appealing. Mm, uh. No, it's not. Well, I'm tired of it, so I could go back to work, but I don't know if anybody's going to hire me as a service writer. Well, I own a mechanic shop for 42 years. Okay. So. Is it, which, but by the way, did you sell to a large institution? No, it's just it, it's a small shop, so it's okay. not a um, person. So you want to know whether you have enough to retire? I want to know if inflation going to catch up with me and I'm going to be screwed when I get to 62 and No, 65. Uh, you're fine. Well, I'm, I'm not worried about you getting screwed between age 62 and 65. The concern is 80 and 90 years old. Oh. Yeah, uh, and I'm concerned. I mean, you're that- going to have Social Security kicking in. My, your wife's going to have Social Security kicking in. Um, and you may or may not right. choose to take it early based upon the rest of your financial situation. It seems like the, right. the 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 rent you're receiving for the house seems a little low an eight hundred thousand dollar house and you're only getting thirty two hundred a month gross yeah it's a it's a sixteen hundred square feet uh house three bed two bath uh I think that's what it's go for in this neighborhood. I could get uh, as as much as thirty five hundred but must be in a uh, nice neighborhood it, uh, it's so in the okay neighborhood i mean it's not bad it's in Pano. Okay, well, that kind of explains it. And you plan on staying in the Bay Area? Yes. Uh, you know, this is tight. This is touch and go. I mean, you got about 800000 outside of your rental and your home. You've got that other income that's coming in, but we need to... But we don't know how... We know that that's only going to... at the maximum, it's going to come in for 20 years. Yeah. It could come in much sooner. So we need to make sure that at 20 years from now that we can replace that income. Because if your wife quit her job, then the answer is no, you can't retire. Uh-huh. But if if your wife works till she's 65, and by the way, you are, you're really smart to be concerned about the cost of health insurance. Because That's you should be. Because Medicare kicks in at 65, and you talked about her retiring at 62, and it's conceivable that you're Insurance payments are two thousand twenty five hundred dollars yeah. a month. Yeah, right. Which is thirty thousand dollars a year. That's what I would figure. Twenty twenty to thirty grand a year. Yes. So the the it's uh it's touch and go, right? Um, if if she was going to work to sixty five, and then you looked at what your social security was coming in and what her social security is coming in, my guess is that you'd be able to make up that four thousand dollars uh, you know, hit in pay. Oh uh, yes, you can get pension too. Okay, well that's that's how much <laughs> how much will her pension be? Uh, about I think it's sixty five percent of her wages oh. max. Okay, that'll help a lot. And she's and she's social security eligible. She doesn't have a job where yeah, she did not yeah. participate. She, in social she, security. She, she could draw social security too. Yeah, you're probably. I mean, in a perfect world, if we talked in January, we would say, Sam, why don't you put the off a couple years? I know you've been doing it 42 years. If you can put it off a couple of years, you'll probably be better off financially. Let's let's focus on 
doing all those steps that we should be taking now to put you in the best position for when you ultimately um, sell your business. Yeah. But um, we didn't talk in January. We talked now. And maybe that was still the right thing for you. I don't know you. And what's the, the, what's the value of the building that you sold to them and carried the note on? Six hundred. So the business was just thrown in for free. Yes. I mean, it, you know, in, in, in my view, the business only was something I went there. I mean, yes. Well, that's that that is in a hundred percent true because there's goodwill, there's, there's goodwill, right. but so so the idea that the reason I asked that question, which is, is that you know payment at risk, and the answer is probably not because of the fact you can go back and take the building if they default on the loan. Um, right. So it's you're probably okay. Um, it would if you're using Betterment, right, and you're paying them to uh, do some financial planning you would probably be well served to actually sit down and pay someone to actually do some a projection. Yes. And well, well, I'm not paying better than it's a robo account. Is a, no, you're paying them. I am. Oh yeah. Not much. Yeah. You're getting the low cost. You're getting what you're paying for though. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, but it's not free. It's uh, not free. But uh, the, part of the plan, Sam is like, what, what do we, how do we replace that income 20 years out? And like what happens when our utilities continue to go up, right? Like, yeah, that's... and property taxes, although they're limited in California, they still increase two percent a year. Two percent, one and a half percent, whatever. Yeah, it's not. Um, you, you. Let's just put it this way: you'd probably be okay, but I don't think that that's the right answer. Like, if at you, a minimum, just pay for to have someone do a financial plan. If, for if you. You, I would never say to my brother, "You'd probably be okay." I'd say. You need to actually go and pay someone to do a financial plan for you. A third party okay. that actually says, and I, I said it to my own brother. I said, look, I don't want my brother-in-law. I don't want to be your financial advisor. We're too close. You need to talk to a third party. Fortunately, they used Allworth. I'd probably be insulted if they didn't. Um, but it is someone else giving the advice. And they, they, I paid for his financial plan. I said, I'm, I'll pay for you to do the financial plan. They found out he could retire in two years and he retired, right? Mm. I would recommend the same to you. So, so what would be the cost for somebody to sit down? And What's, my it, 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 talk to the, the particular provider. What, what, what's the well, cost? Well, maybe involved? a couple grand or something. A couple grand, but what's to, the cost if you don't do it? Uh-huh. I, I mean, I like Pat said five minutes ago. This is kind of on the bubble here, so it's not. I was hoping you, I was hoping you'd come back and the other assets would be in the millions, and then I'd say, "Don't worry about it." But they're not, so it's on the bubble. No, it, it, yeah. it, look, it, it, my guess is that the advisor is probably going to tell your wife she needs to work till sixty-five, and that you're going to have to do all the shopping, cleaning, the cooking. Uh, nothing new is there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, nope. Sam, our I, recommendation is to do the plan, involve your spouse with the plan. You can look at it. The numbers aren't going to lie. I mean, there are, you obviously have to use some projections in there. Like, what are we going to assume for inflation? What are we going to assume for? But just be relatively conservative on that. And then you'll have an idea of what your probability of success. And not term. only that, it would include your estate plan, what you're doing for estate planning, and make recommendations there in tax planning. So I think it's money well spent. Yeah. Wish you so well, appreciate Sam. the call. Yeah.